Well, Bakugo, I really, really hate you, but I do know that you get effectively things done. Even with a hero license, you still haven't lost your ego and your enormous amount of disrespect. But I guess that's your character, and if you take it out away, it wouldn't be awesome, right? So, uh, the one who is really here to be liked is Todoroki Shoto. Either way, um, they uh, start to fight this carbon right. Uh, uh, common right m person who is actually uh, he just wants to do it because he w stealing f things because he wants to have a frill so either way Bakugo knocks out one of the other frills here and uh, things are really taking uh, a turn for action fact the angry enemy fan here with the Boku no Hero uh, chapter 219 either way um, they try the guy seems to control some water or carbon and also one of them miss almost gets crushed by a polar until All Might tries to save her although Bakugo saves um, saves All Might I mean if you're gonna kill yourself do it elsewhere he says oh. can he never say anything other than true concern uh, so either way Shoto ends the fact with a powerful and great freezing heat wave that knocks the guys out, like warm soda. The villain seems to have a power to turn soda into projectiles. Either way, um, uh, it's also worth noting that Shoto actually cared about the, the safety of the civilian. Ba Bakugo didn't really do that much. Either way, one of the heroes finally catch up and asks them if they are students from UA and sees that they had knocked out the villains. And uh, Bakugo somehow managed to take every single one of the purses while fighting. Ugh. I really hate the fact that an ego guy has to be so good, but hey, I guess that's what makes it worth noting. So the sliding hero, whatever his name is, thanks the UA of, with a cug, but then suddenly the equipment made by the soda villain pops. As uh, All Might congratulates uh, Shoto and Bakugo. Shoto thanks, well of course Bakugo is just being Sundere. So, um, elsewhere the children of Destro, or shall we just call it the Meta Liberation Army. After all, it's not exactly confirmed for me if the CEO was the only child of Destro, or they all were children of Destro. Either way, this is truly a very dangerous supervillain, because he is a very shrewd businessman. A man that cannot really be tracked that easily, because... Uh, 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 he's actually collecting combat data. Very likely that's the way how he scans to see if people are worthy of joining his cause as well as finding out how he can control them. He, the merchandise he gives out to villains and other stuff um, are meant to self-destruct 24 hours if any sign of danger after, um, and while they can collect the massive data. So they have also captured the villain guy that they said was a connection. That connection was none other than Giran, who is pretty messed up, a supplier of the villain. However, Giran refuses to say anything. I'm very surprised that a man like him is so loyal to the villain, the League of Villains. It also seems to that he know uh, the the CEO, saying that he's always resented him because he was a foreign in his side when he started out and that the market was a mix thanks to his goody two-shoe company I find that very strange it's clear that the CEO is a dangerous man so then why did he have a goody two-shoes company I mean I do know a little bit why he had to have an image that he is a good businessman otherwise people would have been suspected but the fact that he standed in the way of villains and heroes alike makes me wonder uh, so uh, Giram is possibly saying that uh, even if I did resort to uh, know anything about the villain uh, he won't say a thing and try asking what you went wrong in first but the CEO is not worried just saying that this is going to be a fruitful partnership and then suddenly we're switching to about a one month ago and I have a feeling this one month ago is meant to show us despair because then we suddenly see giant mecha uh, Giganto Meko, whatever his name was, crying as he is actually defeating all of the League of Villains, crying like saying that they are way too small and this is enough yet. 
So yeah, I mean, uh, Kuroguri said that Giant Mecha was supposed to be someone that Chiriaki could uh, trust on in the future. But uh, it seems very clear that Giant Mecha has some high standards. So if this happened one month ago, what has happened this one month? I mean, I know what happened for the heroes. The festival, the school thing, as well as, um, well, you know, the license exam and all that stuff. So what has, but what happened one month ago uh, with the, the League of Villains? I think that's what we're gonna see now. We're gonna see just how dangerous Shiriaki truly is. I mean, if Giant Mecha can defeat all of the League of Villains, then he really is a threat. Someone who is dangerous. Not that I think all the League of Villains are dangerous, but uh, the fact that he can defeat them like this. And the fact that he calls his uh, master all for one, not uh, just master, makes me question just exactly what kind of relationship they did have. But, uh, one wonders. What will Shiriaki do to control this very dangerous monster? We actually see him uh, clearly a little bit now. Yaid Mekko appears to be a man with hardly any pants, or maybe he does have pants. Yeah, and uh, rocks similar to a turtle shell on his back. And then spiky hair and a metal jaw or something. We saw a little bit of that metal jaw. He's very modeled after the kaiju monsters, and his power is said to be a natural disaster. So yeah, we all now see what the League of Villains have done for a month. Did they manage to tame Giant Mecha? Or something else has happened. And uh, Giran is loyal to the League of Villains. I have a very big feeling that the League of Villains know that the Meta Liberation Army is after them. After all, despair only grows when the villain is winning. So what else is there to say about it? Well, nothing more. There was some action packed of it all. Shoto and Bakugo did well, but I still don't like Bakugo. He is too much of a bully, and even when he is really heroism, he's being obnoxious. But, but that's his charm. He is the hero who is not meant to be polite. He's just meant to be Bakugo, the guy who always wins. Give me your thoughts if you have any.